Semantic wiki for complex operations is we want to get like coin manual. We want to wikify it and semantify it. And then we want to put all the social science concepts, like if someone talks about governance, there should be a link, a page, go to governance. If someone talks about, um, uh, let's say, legitimacy, I mean, it's not just an English word, right? There's all these social scientists working on this concept for years. And th they want to go there and learn about it. So uh, that's what we started doing it. In the databases that we put in, and I think someone did ask it, well, these are like um, legitimacy concept is from coin and social science perspectives, right? We have then look at indicators of legitimacy uh, from all these different data sets. For instance, if you're do looking at something, let's say um, campaign planning, you just want to get a variable. Okay, hmm, what is the uh, season constitution, change in polity, competence of executive recruitment, uh, constitution C state? Uh, these are all different data sets like polity four, institution selections project, democracy data. Uh, these are Freedom House uh, scale, Freedom House. Uh, these are all these variables, they're all semantically annotated, so you can say, hey, I'm interested in legitimacy, and so these are all the variables so, uh, available from all these different, different data sets, and, what, uh, and on top of that, uh, you can just, you, you have the data at your fingertips. Just trying to give you the flavor of it. So, uh, here's an example. So, we thought, God, we were looking at such a large area, let's focus on Afghanistan, right? So, cultural knowledge, can we just start just getting cultural knowledge? I mean, the, the, the real drawback in applying something like this is, in social sciences, there is no info boxes that you can extract knowledge from. So there's not like a lot of social science books and Wikipedia-like data sets. We can just go and just consume it. Uh, so we said, okay, if there is not, so why don't we go and make this ourselves? So this is like a semantic form. So you come in over here. You don't have to know, you know, wiki, wikifying and all that. Ethnic group, Pashtun, super tribe is Durrani, parent tribe is Durrani, religion, primary locations, Kandahar, lo other locations. Uh, so uh, the, the subject matter expert just pulls those into a table. So we were making our own almost like semantic form like wiki boxes. And, in the background, the system starts keeping track of, oh, ethnic group is, you know, uh, this group, uh, Zirak, is a Pashtun. They speak Pashtu, Dari, and Urdu. Uh, they're located in these places. Their parent tribes are Durrani. So all of this is being represented in this, you know, semantic representation. So you can then ask a question as, like, what language do, do uh, Zirak's uh, Xerox uh, tribe speak. Who do they hate? What's their historical uh, historical enemy? Who, the, who are they allied with? So they're almost like the human culture train, being able to put that, but in, in such a way so that it's not just text, you can actually query it. Can I ask a question sure. here? Where is the human in the process as opposed to the machine in the process? Like how much is human labor intensive that your, your expert and is it, is it an expert there, a mill court, or is an expert anywhere in the community is creating the categories or is populating what goes into those categories? Right. Uh, building a category is a hard thing. So that's like, that needs major geekiness. So that, that, uh, that requires well, so like... So it needs geekiness plus the other kind of soft science geekiness. The other it. one, put in the contents in, is more the subject matter expert. So in this case, we're looking for subject matter ex experts to populate it. But you'll find a lot of subject matter experts, so-called, who hate that term, by the way, but who would say, I don't necessarily agree with your categories. Right. right? You might find social scientists who will argue about the categories. Right. That's an excellent point. Okay. okay. So what's our answer is, in Wiki, we don't put any subjective knowledge. If you can publish it, then you're an expert. So it, it needs to be a reference, you know, like we don't, we, we don't make the authoritative decisions. So Naval Postgraduate School publishes a report and says these are the taxonomies of all these tribes. That's good enough for us. I mean, like that's the way we approach it. Or it's been published in Journal of, you know, Political Science, etc. So, I mean, that's, that's how we pass the buck, essentially. So, I mean, by definition, 
uh, there should be nothing in a Wikipedia that is not referenced. We're not looking for anybody's opinion. We're just looking for facts, right? All right. So uh, we, tr you know, tr started with this 150 tribal maps from ethnic groups in Afghanistan, Pakistan region, and we. Uh, I mean, that's our in our now database, so you can pretty much go and study anybody who's who in Afghanistan. And our next stop is Pakistan. Uh, we just want to turn this, show, make a showcase of this cultural pedia in the context of um, in the context of um, um, Afghan tribes. So uh, I, this is available both as concept maps, but. Uh, uh, the point is, again, it's represented in this machine representation uh, uh, that you can actually query it. All right, uh, you can fast, you know, browse the data sets by category. Uh, so here's what you would do. This is the information that you were asking, Karen. So uh, you make a page, say, okay, it's a semantic form. It, it, you know, it says there's a tribe template. What is the ethnic group? What's the super tribe? And these are the categories. You want to keep a tab on this because if you start letting other people do it, it's just going to, you know, it's going to go to a mishmash. And now you can put some free text into it. Uh, but once it's there, then uh, we're going to be able to ask the question, uh, like, what language do uh, does Baraksai, uh, Baraksai speak? <coughs> Again, if you go to our uh, website. Uh, you know, click on the recent changes, like Nuristani, it's, it looks like this. And here is the uh, uh, Nuristani um, uh, info box that the expert has put in and, and this representation. And at the background, we're showing this. Of course, nobody's interested in this, but this is how we keep track of the knowledge so that you can query it. Any questions so far? Now, did you completely, you and your team, put this all together from scratch, or did you adopt some other tool as a starting point to be able to do this? You mean what platform did we use? Yeah. Okay. We used, um, I mean, I went over this uh, at the beginning of the uh, talk. We used Semantic Media Wiki, and, okay. and we started bringing more and more plugins. So the reason we want that is uh, Semantic Media Wiki is very popular. I mean, it's the most popular Semantic Wiki platform. So, in fact, we're interested. If anybody's interested, is we want to. We did a lot of technology development work. It's a transition. If somebody's interested in a mill open source mill OSS version of this, we'd like to package it. We want to, you know, like we have an interest in. We want to put this in the military open source software community if there's interest in that so that other folks can say hey that that package to make it secure you have to do this etc cetera, etc cetera. there is hmm? and there is interest okay and we would love to talk to you about that excellent all right can we, can we pause actually and we'll introduce the